Well, the terms state capture and kleptocracy are increasingly becoming part of South Africa's debate with Finance Minister Pravin Gordon recently highlighting the need to fix the government procurement system and clean up corruption. Uh, joining us to discuss the challenges that are facing Treasury and its office of the Chief Procurement Officer is Yana Murray. She's the FinWeek editor. Yana, maybe tell us what are the challenges that we've got currently got facing uh, around the government procurement process. I think we've already mentioned corruption, which I think is a, is a big issue and has been very much on the agenda in, in, in the past few days. But I think beyond that, one major thing that they ha have to look at is cost savings. Yeah. Um, Praveen said in his latest budget a target of 25 billion rand cost savings by 2018. Now government spends about 500 billion rand a year, so that's a massive amount of spending that you need to keep an eye on and control and make sure that um, you know we cut down on wasteful expenditure as you know we see in the auditor general reports every year mm. billions goes to waste i think the other thing that's been very challenging for treasury is around empowerment rules and using state procurement to really benefit black business and, and boost black business and there's been quite a bit of development around that to really give empowerment scores a bit of a higher weighting when people um, when tenders are considered mm. So yes, I think those are, are two of the crucial things, is really to get the costs under control and then to leverage state procurement to, to get, you know, to not only the, the empowerment policies of government, but also um, we've seen designated sectors, for example, where government uses procurement to help boost local manufacturing capacity. Um, we've seen the steel producers, for example, lobbying very hard to be included in that. Mm. Um, and given how that sector has been struggling, you, you know, they've got a, a point to make that, you know, why should we be importing steel to build Madupi and Kusile if we have local manufacturers that are actually struggling? Mm. Yana, what other steps have we seen that Treasury is uh, putting in place and do you think they're being successful? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a million dollar question. Yeah. Well, one of the things that they've been busy with is they've been reviewing all state tenders or uh, contracts that over the value of 10 million rand. So big spenders like Prasa, SAA, um, ESCOM coal contracts and those things have all been under, under scrutiny. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good thing in terms of clamping. If you want to clamp down on corruption and in increase transparency, um, people should know that there is going to be another watchdog checking you know, that all the, the boxes were ticked when, when these things um, were awarded. Then last, uh, I think the most exciting thing, or possibly the most concerning thing, depending which side of the, d of the debate you're standing on, is the centralized supplier database. Mm -hmm. So from the 1st of April, um, all municipalities and all state-owned enterprises and everybody will have to work through this centralized supplier database. Um, the Treasury's argument is that, you know, that will help to clamp down on corruption and instead of all of us, you know, in different departments ordering 100 t-shirts here and there, we can now do bulk ordering and we can um, negotiate discounts. Mm. But, you know, I think we've all seen <laughs> when you try and get new systems up and, up and running, there's yes. a lot of teething problems. Exactly. So we'll see how it plays out in the, in the coming months. Teething problems and systems. Thank you so much, Yana, for taking us through the, your editor's choice. That was Yana Marie Van Week, editor.